You're opening your heart, you're opening your mind, you're wonderfully on your way. Soon it will be your happy making declaration day. animals were tortured and killed for dairy products. This is a mother. She's raped her whole life, had her children stolen and murdered for cheese and milk. So boycott dairy products and meat products, they're horrible and animal abuse. This is probably where she ended up, chopped up into pieces. Disgusting. how to spot them, and how not to be like them. Fake vegans are the kind of people who never post about the animals on their timelines. And they also say things like, I'm vegan, but it's totally okay if you're not. Like, I would never be pushy. Those people are hypocrites. They don't actually care about the animals. They're also cowards. They're not willing to stand up and say the truth, which is that animals need a bill of rights. They need protection under the law in the same way that we protect small children. Animals are sentient beings. In the same way that you would not want your friend to abuse a cat or a dog or a small child, how is it that you're okay with them abusing chickens, cows, or pigs? We need a better society. We need to be better, we need to be vegan, and we need to start now. Okay, so everybody knows that if your kid comes up to you and says, Mom, Dad, I'm gay, that you're supposed to give them a big hug and say, Way to go, I love you, wonderful, right? And we all should do that, of course. But now, think about what happens if your kid comes up to you and says, Mom and Dad, I'm vegan. What's the first thing you're gonna do? Are you gonna give them a big hug and say, way to go, I'm so proud of you. This is a wonderful choice. You have shown me that you are a compassionate person. What a big heart you have. Are you going to say, how can I help you? Are you going to say, I want to join you. Let's do it together as a family. Or are you going to bring them down and make it hard for them and mock them? If your kid comes and tells you that they want to be vegan, support them. Be proud of them. You have an amazing kid. It's going to be tough for them. Give them the tools they need. Be vegan yourself. TikTok is, how much you love it here, and there's there's just like almost no way to describe how much joy you get and how much you're learning and, and just the different experiences you've had on here. And it's hard to describe in words, right? If you're trying to tell somebody, oh, I'm on this app, it's called TikTok, they're just like, oh yeah, okay, whatever, I've got Facebook, I don't need it, right? So you've all experienced that. Now try to imagine what it's like for animal rights activists to try to get it through your head that you need to see the movie Dominion Movement. You go to watchdominion.com. It's the same for us. We know that you don't know the truth yet. You don't understand. You need to watch this movie. You can surely find some time in your day to educate yourself and then come back with an informed person and then you can talk about the choices that you want to make regarding your food and things you buy. Okay? This is for all the kids out there who have this hatred for me. I want you to just pause for one moment and just really think about why you think I'm here. Why would I quit my full-time job to come onto TikTok and spend 18 hours a day trying to reach you guys. 
Do you think that's just for fun? Do you think that I want to be famous? Guys, I'm trying to save your lives, the lives of the animals, and the planet. I really need your help. Being vegan is best for all three of these things. Please watch the documentaries I always recommend. It's the only way that you guys will really understand why I'm here. Stop arguing. Just educate yourselves. Okay? There's no excuse for animal abuse. Not religion, not an eating disorder, not peer pressure, not your monetary status. Don't eat animals. Don't buy their bodies. Don't steal their milk, their blood, or their honey. Don't wear their fur or their feathers. It is only by the grace of God that you are not in their skin. Each time you see a public display of meat, dairy, stolen eggs, or fur in an ad, give it the middle finger. Each time you see an animal suffering, run to help as if you were the victim. Each time it's time to eat, ask for and choose the vegan option. Don't be a bully to vegan children or anyone who has compassion for the animals. Heaven awaits those who do their part with a compassionate heart. Every vegan started out like you thinking they could never be vegan. It was a crazy thing to do and yet here they are, 100% vegan, speaking out on behalf of the victims all over the world. Never think that you can't be an ethical animal rights activist because not only can you do it, but it's also your moral duty and your destiny. Be brave, be better, be vegan, be loved, and start Today I went to a vigil at American Halal Meat in Newark, New Jersey. As hard as it is to do this, it's important to document and show what happens to these animals before they're slaughtered and not only to bear witness to that suffering but also to provide them with water and as much comfort as possible. I hate the industries that have decided that money is more important than human and non-human lives. But it doesn't have to be this way, and changing the world starts with the choices that we make every single day. This is one of the most paradigm-shifting facts about vegans that most people don't know, and that is their protein levels are actually higher than people that eat meat. This is measured as free blood protein or serum albumin. One theory is that because vegans have about 30% lower inflammation and inflammation eats up protein, 